Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising weekly tarot reading April 13th, uh, May 13th, excuse me, to uh, May 19th, uh, 2019. And uh, just bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can go straight away uh, to the spread. All right, so um, what do we got? The first card, <clears throat> which is marking the topic of your week, that is going to be the five of uh, pentacles, followed by the second card, uh, which is the uh, challenges that you need to overcome here. We do have the five of ones, so we do have double fives throughout this week, for the week. Then it is the uh, what helps you throughout the week, that is going to be the four card. And the last one uh, that we do have that is uh, going to be the um, guidance that Saro is offering to you, we do have the Ten of Wands. So uh, we do have a lot of fives here throughout the week. First, we do have double fives and then ten can be broken on double fives as well. And five in numerology, it is a uh, the number of, uh, of versatility, actually, it is the number of, uh, I would say, change as well. Five is also very well associated with traveling. So if you are to take on travel, then that week, probably your wishes are to come true in that regard. But five, the best property that I like into five is that one country was a, a situation of a failure into a, a situation of... Um, success or drastically, drastically improve the circumstances into one situation. However, um, <clears throat> the first card that we do have for you guys, which is the Five of Pentacles, it does represent some sort of a, um, I don't want to say stagnation really, but let's say insecurity. And uh, that will be the topic, or the topic itself is where you fighting with your insecurities, trying to take, or not just trying, but taking on the upper hand upon your insecurities. Finally, addressing those small things, you know, which are either aggravating, irritating, here and there, that are making either your place into your career being insecure, or making, you know, your relationship being insecure. Straight away, giving you an example, if we're talking about relationships, you may feel insecure because you suspect that your boyfriend, let's say, is liking that girl, which is in your social circle. Well, you address that issue, you know, kind of like you uh, confront your either your boyfriend or confront that girl, and so on and so forth. It's basically this week as a topic, it is where you address those um, plights which are really trifles but they are kind of like in a, a big number all right so we are talking about the um, <clears throat> difficulties which are small difficulties but they are on multiple fronts uh, as well um, it's, it is kind of like a completely if you ask me it is a completely um, normal week uh, through which one is trying to basically immerse on the surface here and uh, tackling with those um, issues that simply one in a um, rather more um, 
tough situation would have. The accompanied card that we do have, that is to be the Seven of uh, Cups. <clears throat> the formation that we do have here, it is a, a, a passive, uh, passive friends. And uh, actually quite a good combo. It is because um, you Leos are going to really take the things rather very slowly. First defining what the core of the issue is and then um, taking the appropriate measures rather than uh, straight away trying to do frantically about it, trying to do frantic something about it and ending up, you know, either being disappointed or being either hurt and these kinds of stuff. So it looks like that you are to adopt the correct strategy in regards to those things into your career and relationship, which are making you feel that either career or relationship, it is a bit insecure for you. <clears throat> The challenging card here is going to be the five of uh, of wands, and five of wands points that things aren't gonna go without um, without confrontations, if I may express it that way. Now, this card represents that maybe there is someone that wants something that you do have, either your relationship, either your place into your career. Now, they are miles away from challenging you, but in the same time, you know, just their uh, their intentions are what causing you. Uh, those plights and those troubles. For example, you know, one uh, you can have a, a co-worker who doesn't want you there. They want your place, all right? And um, they're trying to kind of sabotage your work. So the challenge here is to address those issues. Additionally to that, challenging may come as well the, the pure dynamic of the week itself because the week is going to be very busy and very active because you will have to address multiple issues which are on multiple fronts. Yes, they are trifles, but yet they persist and they should be, uh, <clears throat> like I said, addressed before they escalate into something that could cause a, a severe setbacks moving on forward um, into, uh, into the future. So you can expect some surprising events to happen in this uh, week, which you are to take as a challenge. But in the same time, those surprising events that could happen throughout the week could give you, a, in fact, the, turn around, the, uh, the circumstances or the prerequisite for the turnaround you need. Uh, the accompanied card here that is going to be the judgment <clears throat> and the formation is a uh, active uh, active supporters that we do have uh, judgment in this case does plays uh, does um, puts a shade on the turnarounds that I spoke uh, just a second ago and it looks like that uh, they're gonna be quite severe with uh, the judgment at that place they're gonna be like a wake-up calls and uh, for you to take advantage of them, you know, and to push into that direction, the challenge itself is going to be for you to recognize or uh, to recognize them and not just not that much to recognize them, but more like to have the determination to act upon them as well. Because the five of pentacles and the seven of cups are, are very passive cards. And uh, the dynamic itself could be uh, a bit of a, a too much to you, okay? And uh, taking on the uh, additional opportunities, it could be something that you may not be very prone to take, really, throughout this week. But um, that leads us really to the next card, which does uh, expresses up uh, what helps you, and that is the Fool. And the full point that uh, what helps you here, it is a completely new um, prerequisite and circumstances that are happening uh, that are happening into your uh, either relationship or into your uh, into your career. That is a uh, circumstances which are giving you the option available to basically achieve what you wanted, because the full. Uh, it is a car pointing that is your dream uh, really manifestable is anybody's guess. And uh, yes, it can be manifested not throughout the week. Yeah, in the long term, but you should not give up on it. So what helps you here for what I can say with the full card is uh, the, um, how can I place it, the expression of your ideas and as well the detachment of the, of, uh, the sense of failure that you may have. So you are gonna feel yourself a bit insecure, but in the same time, you're gonna have the belief that should you put the toils behind it here, Leo, uh, your prevail 
should I say it that way, is going to be uh, imminent. So that week, for what we can say with these card, it, cards, it is a week where you have to do something about it, regardless what it is. It depends on your personal situation, what it's going to be, but you got to do something about it. You know, you feel threatened in your, in your relationship, you got to do something about it. You got to address that issue. Uh, you want something out to happen from your relationship, you got to address the issue, you got to do something about it. Same goes career-wise, same goes uh, friendship-wise friendship as well. The accompanied card which we do have here, that is to be the temperance and uh, the formation that we do have it is active friends. So as a, an active friend to the full, the temperance it does point the, um, how can I place it, the pay, not, not exactly the patience, well, it is a patient. It's very difficult to explain because in my in my language we do have a word for that, but here in English I don't know the word really. It's it's kind of like it's cumulative determination and belief, you know, that eventually you're gonna be rewarded. So I don't know how to say it really. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough for you to manifest it, but if you be stubborn about it if I may express myself that way and you're not afraid from the chores that you do have to let's say um, incorporate into your career or into, or into your relationship or in other words now I get it you are determined to do what it takes uh, the results are going to be uh, in your uh, advantage basically they're going to be in your benefit and therefore, uh, you will have as well no problem here with these cards that we do have as a as something that acts in your favor is to find the right measures to find that formula you need to um, <clears throat> deal with those minor plights, but yet a lot of them uh, with um, with fairly uh, with fairly big ease, all right. So it's not going to be that big of an issue as uh, as long as you do something uh, about it. Uh, and here I can give myself as an, an example. You know, I always kind of like find it very difficult to start making those videos. But once I start, you know, the the work is just moving on forward. And the the only issue that I have with the videos is just determining myself. To, to put myself in front of camera and start and start shooting them. So it's the same thing. It's kind of like the only the only issue that you are to have throughout the week is just to do something about it. All right, the initiation. And the last card, which is as a it comes as a guidance for you, Leo, that is going to be the uh, Ten of Wands. So guidance ones uh, wise, uh, the Ten of Wands is it does point that sometimes success goes through uh, the um, the favor of others. Uh, that being said, you will have to recognize throughout, throughout the week who can help you and who is beneficial for you. And you need to invest in it. Investing in a sense of that, uh, you know, by you pleasing to a certain extent that person, you know that they are going to be a, a very valuable ally moving on forward into the future, either for your career or either for your relationship. Additionally to that, the card points to those new circumstances, which I said, the prerequisites which are happening for you uh, <clears throat> are gonna be an, an amazing opportunities to, like I said at the start of the reading, traverse, you know, a uh, situation which seems a failure into a, a successful one. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Nine of Cups, and uh, formation, it is a active enemies that we do have. So uh, I, while these cards are pointed, not everything that you will have to do throughout the week is gonna be something exhilarating. No one likes to please anybody, um, anybody else, you know? So maybe you don't like to please your boss. Maybe you don't like to please, you know, um, how can I place it, your neighbor, let's say, but knowing that tomorrow you will need the approval of your boss, to grant you this promotion or tomorrow you will need your neighbor for example to fix your roof or to give you an approval or of something you know doing that favor right now and knowing that they they have a favor to uh, return it's much bigger weapon than just hoping for their how can i place it um how do you say it in english uh, hoping for their goodwill 
towards you because they can screw you over you know but if they owe you it is less likely for them to do so so uh, that being said leo this was your weekly tarot reading for may 13th to may 19 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we're going to see each other next time till then bye